working an increase in Tunisian simple stitch. So we're going to work an increase here that mirrors our decrease just below. So we need to work it between the third and the fourth stitch. We've already got the first stitch on the hook. We'll work into the next two Tunisian simple stitches in the usual way. There we've got our bars raised up. So we've got three stitches here and we want a stitch that mirrors our decrease. So in knitting or crochet, we quite often put the yarn over our hook like this. In this instance, we're going to bring the yarn under our hook, which may be familiar if you've made amigurumi toys. So we're going to bring under and over our hook. So the yarn comes in front and then goes behind and we're going to continue to stitch along in the usual way. But to do this, we have to hold our stitch on the hook, our increased stitch on the hook, otherwise it will come off, okay? So the yarn under in front of the hook and then behind into the next stitch while holding it and pull up the next loop. And at this point, we can let our stitch go and just work into the remaining stitches, stopping three stitches before the end in the usual way. With three stitches left to work, we're going to work the first stitch as normal. We're going to work our yarn under increase, yarn in front and behind, and our remaining two stitches as normal while holding on to our new increase stitch. And there we are. You can see how that mirrors the increase really nicely. And then we'll work our return pass in the usual way. One loop off, two loops off. It's a little trickier to get into that one. We have to make sure that we don't pull this loop off. So you can use your fingers to manipulate the yarn if you need to. So just continue working two loops off all the way through. Coming up to the next increase, remember, separate the yarn stitches a little bit if you need to, to avoid pulling the stitch off as well as the increase. But making sure that you always pull two loops at a time. This yarn makes it a little bit difficult to see that. There we go. And when you're finished, you can check that the increases look like they're in the same place. Here you can see we've got a capital A shape. And here we've got a V shape and they work out along the same row and the same on the other end. Here we've got an A shape and here we've got a V shape and they come out along the same row of stitches.